It's possible to import camera animation from other software to Cascader. So in this example I will create a turntable like camera movement which is much easier to create in Blender and then just import it to Cascader instead of making it from scratch. So now with Blender open I will first set the end and start frame. I want a 120 frame animation and want to choose 30 fps to match with Cascader settings. I will need a camera and I will also need a circle. I will make it around 10 meters and apply the scale with Ctrl A and then select the camera then the path and Ctrl P path constraint and to animate it select the camera and under constraint click animate path. Now the camera is moving but it won't be smooth because you need to first set select the curve then under path animation here in the curve properties uh, you need to set the frames to your animation and I also want to point the camera to the center so I will add a plane empty I will move it up on the z-axis to around 2 meters and select the camera and add a track to constraint and source the empty and now the camera is pointing to the empty the whole time so now I need to bake this uh, camera animation, search for the object animation bake action, uh, use the same frame as you want and you need to check visual keying. I will also clear the constraint so it will automatically remove these two constraints and I will override the current action but it doesn't matter. Okay now you see that I have keyframes on all the frame and no constraint to the camera so I can get rid of the empty and the curve. I can now export it, choose FBX. So I only will export the camera but nothing else is here and I need to uncheck NLA strips and I'm good to go. To import this to Cascader I open this scene that I quickly created and first import the model of the camera but I, it's not visible yet but you can see it in the outliner and you can select it. To make it always visible in point controller mode or any other mode you can right click in the view and under visible search for the camera object and now it's visible but not selectable so I need also to make it selectable. Okay, I will create a new folder for the camera which will be named camera and I also need to select the camera and the track and add it to the track so to make sure if I double click the track now the camera will be selected with the camera selected I will import the same FBX as animation and now you can see that you have all the keyframes here on the correct track I will set the end frame the same as I had in Blender and now if I select the whole interval you can see that the camera is moving and if I play the animation it's also visible. Here with the align to camera the view will be aligned to the camera and to exit it you can just rotate it and I also want to move the camera lower so I spread the view with space I will switch to interval edit mode and with the manipulators I will position the camera so I can see the camera view on the right. I could also rotate it for example the whole animation but I don't want to. I will change the camera settings here to make it a wider view maybe 42 and if you have an animation that you like you can export it by switching the view as you want and go to file export video sequence then choose your location you can choose an image sequence or video file I will use video high quality and start rendering and it's done